What's up, guys and gals? It's Mizuna, and welcome to episode one of our FTB Beyond Let's Play. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. First things first, the pressing question. The elephant in the room, as it were. Where have I been? Well, real life got the better of me for a while, I'm afraid. I took a new job at the beginning of the summer, and it took up a huge amount of my time. Um, now, with the beginning of the new school year, I've reoriented myself and prioritized my passions. Computers are and have been my passion since I was young, and I'm currently majoring in computer science. That energy naturally encompasses this channel and the community we're growing here. What can I say? I just love you guys. All of your comments kept YouTube in my mind while I was away, and they're the reason I'm coming back now. So, mushy stuff out of the way, let's talk computers. I built a new one recently, and I'm loving it. It's equipped with a Ryzen 7 1700X processor, currently water-cooled and overclocked to 3.8 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes of Corsair 3200 megahertz DDR4 RAM, a Zotac NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti graphics card, I'm really excited about that piece, all put together on an AS Rock Killer motherboard with built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and wrapped in a gorgeous Fantex Eclipse tempered glass case in white. If you follow the link in the description below and follow me on Twitter, some pictures of the new system are there for all your nerdy pleasure. No judgment. Okay, life update done. Let's finally get to talking about the new server. We'll be playing with the same group as we did during our Direwolf 20 playthrough, and I couldn't be more pleased to have them. Looks like somebody's already been on. Uh, this is not naturally formed, and that is certainly not naturally formed. So excited to see that some people have already logged on. I'm not the first one on the server. No More has also been invited to join us, so go bug him on his channel to get back here. Um, because Biomes of Plenty is not included in Beyond, terrain generation is taken care of by realistic terrain generation. Our world seed can also be found in the description below, as well as links to the texture packs I'm using. I'm using Faithful 32 and Dramatic Skies. The plan for this series is pretty simple. Magic will probably be my focus, as it was on the last server, but that doesn't mean we'll be ignoring all the fantastic tech mods this mod pack has to offer. I've got this idea in my head, where we build a compound with different buildings for every project and have it all linked together by a central hub where our storage system and eventually our AE2 system lives. This will give me excellent structure for episodes and guarantee a little bit of aesthetic building every episode as well. As far as uploading goes, I think my schedule for this one will be two videos a week, one uploaded on Wednesday and one on Saturday. I'm also planning on introducing a new game that isn't quite so time-intensive to record to the channel to fill the rest of the weekly slots, so look out for that in the next few weeks. Grab some berries here, I'm hungry. Ooh, those sounds are different. Uh, whew! I know that was a lot of information to pack into an introduction, so thank you so much for sticking with me! In today's episode, we'll be building a starter house, producing an early game source of food, and beginning our mine. The first step is getting some basic tools and a little bit of food to hold us over until we settle down. These berries probably aren't going to cut it. I'm looking at you, sheep. Uh, then we'll go exploring for our base location. Most anyone who's watching this video has seen the early game Tinker's Construct progression. I'm talking early, early game, like just building the four basic crafting components and getting some wooden tools put together. Uh, so I'm going to get down to that, get some cobblestone, get some super basic tools, probably have some bones sitting around here where those skeletons that spawned died. And I am going to get back to you in just a few minutes. Be right back, guys. And we're back. I think I found a location to begin building. As you can see, if I pull up my journey map here, we've done a fair amount of exploration and died a couple of times. I was originally thinking about starting building in this roofed forest near spawn. It's super dangerous in there. Um, until we get our lighting game on point, we can't really survive that. So we'll skip it for now. We'll probably do something with the roofed forest near here. If I can find myself again, here I am. Um, 
all of these are forests, birch forests up here, and we have a jungle down here as well. So this is kind of a cool place to build. Um, very flat and uninteresting for now, but I'm hoping to change that throughout this series. So, the first thing is to build a starter house that can eventually be upgraded into our central hub. Uh, to make things simple, I'm thinking about some sort of dome or maybe even something as simple as, like, a cube with a dome on top. I'm not sure. It's, it's going to be a fairly simple shape for now so that we can upgrade it pretty easily. Um, as far as materials go, I'm thinking stone of some variety, probably diorite. I love that stuff. And glass, probably blue glass. I like, I like the white and blue aesthetic. It, it makes me happy. Uh, obviously we don't have those materials yet. Oh, by the way, um, while I was exploring around, I built myself a basic backpack from Iron Backpacks. If I look that up, you can see... Pretty simple, chest, some leather, some wool, gives you a basic backpack. By default, you can equip it with V and open it with C. And that's holding some more stuff for us so that we can have just a little bit of an extended inventory. Uh, so, as I was saying, we don't have what we need yet. This armor, by the way, I looted off of a dead skeleton. Okay, no more distra distractions. Distractions. <laughs> no more distractions. As I was saying, we don't quite have those materials yet, obviously, in my inventory. I haven't really been mining. I haven't really been collecting. We don't have glass. We don't have things to smelt the glass. We don't have dye. So for now, I'm going to set up the bare essentials here. I'm going to set up my bed. Uh, let's just choose a spot, yeah? Right here. I claim this. For me and my viewers, this is now our space. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to set up the bed. I'm going to set up the tinker stations here as well. Uh, that goes stencil table, part builder, crafting station. Uh, what am I missing here? Tool station. Do we not have it? Yeah, we do. It was just hiding. Tool station, crafting station, pattern chest. I can put under the part builder, just like this. And that should connect to everything. It will indeed, other than it doesn't connect. Really, it doesn't connect to the pattern chest like that. That's interesting. Oh, well, that's fine. I'll just put it behind. Now it connects. Perfect. Okay, so Tinker stuff is equipped. Uh, there we go. That was an interesting glitch. All right, so all this stuff set down. I'm going to kill this zombie first, and then... I'm thinking I'll probably convert this. Maybe I'll convert this into an entrance to a mine. I don't know. I do not know. But the next step is definitely to go mining. So I'm going to gather up some materials. First thing, I think I'm going to plant this oak sapling. Use some of this bone meal. Get myself some wood so I can get some chests. And I will be right back. So I don't know why, but Dramatic Skies was apparently changing the game sounds as well as the textures. Uh, some of the new sounds were fun, but others, especially eating and walking on stone, were super grating. So I disabled the resource pack. If anybody has any good recommendations for a resource pack to make the sky look a little better, uh, leave it in the comment section and I'll check it out. I have been mining up a storm and we have tons of building blocks to work with for this first little build uh to give even more variety though it is time to build a chisel just need a little bit of iron and a stick so we should be able to make that happen fairly easily 
Um, do we have? We do have tiny coal. Awesome. Love it. Uh, it's about to, it is night, in fact. I'm going to sleep through the night here. Once this iron is smelted, we can build ourselves a chisel from the chisel mod, not from chisel and bits. So that's a saucepan. Chisel and bits. Uh, so we now have our chisel. And we can make a bunch of different textures out of all of these blocks, which is pretty cool. You can see. Uh, so I'm going to get together a block palette, try and figure out a good baseline for our build here. And I think I might actually time lapse this part. So I'll see you after the time lapse. the time lapse brought to you as always by the replay mod you know i'm digging the overall shape of our starter house i, I wasn't sure i'm sure you saw what to do with the floor in here um, but we can we can mess with that and i do not like the roof so i'll be messing with that between episodes as well next on today's agenda a food source as you can see i am completely out of food if i check my chests in here Got the bare essentials going on, got a bed, got the tinker stuff, and got some chests. If we check in these chests in here, you can see we do not have any more food left. We're all out, it's all gone, I've eaten it all. So, it is time then to get an early game farm going. So, I think the first step there is building a mattock so that I can get my hoe on and also smelting some iron so that we can build a bucket i believe there are actually other types of buckets there are we have clay buckets from ceramics which come from unfired clay buckets i wonder if those work should we try it out i bet you i can find some clay sure you know what let's let's do it that way why not let's go out Find some clay. I bet you there's some in this river right over here. And let's try out a brand new mod. Sounds fun. All right, we've got sand. Is that clay? This is all clay, perfect. Let's just dig some of this up. We're gonna need it when we go to build the smeltery anyway. So we might as well gather some up. Wow, all right. So now let's see, is the ceramic clay bucket just a one-time use thing, or is it something that is actually useful? Because you never know. You never know. I should probably not be sprinting when we have a food crisis, but you know, okay. Uh, over here, make a bucket. Grab some tiny coal. Incorrect. Okay. Oh, interesting. The furnace, like, keeps its progress and it slowly drains down. Wonder which mod does that. Now we have a clay bucket. So, if I use this to scoop up some water... All of this, of course, to uh, start farming some crops. 
If I use this to scoop some water, and then I place... Yeah, looks like it's reusable. Well, that's cool. Nice job. Nice job, mod developers. Giving us an early game alternative to iron before we get our ore doubling on point. All right, so the next step, as I said, is to grab a mattock. So let's uh, break these up because I'm paranoid. We need a wooden shovel head, a wooden axe head, and a wooden tool rod. And I believe those should make a mattock. Perfect, wooden mattock. So then we can go out here somewhere. Probably up on this level. Seems as good a place as any. And we can lay out our 9x9 nine nine plot. Now there are a lot of bees around. Which is fine. Another old root from the roots mod. Uh, oh. Wait. Was this full? Does it leak? Is that a thing? I'm watching it. I'm watching it closely. Did I just forget, guys? Can you tell me in the comments? Alright, well, whatever. So, 9 by 9 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is, if you don't know, if you're unfamiliar, as far as water can hydrate. Okay. What are you doing? Are you broken? Really? Holy moly. All right. <laughs> Guess I'll need to replace those with a... Uh... Oh, you can eat old roots. Interesting. It seems questionable. But, uh, guess I'll need to replace these with some better components here. Okay. And then grab some more cobblestone. That's why I grabbed the cobblestone in the first place, but I just didn't expect it to break quite so quickly. There you go. Stone Matic. That should last a little bit longer than 2.5 seconds. <laughs> All right, back to the farm. So I think we're going to, I know we have potatoes. I think we have carrots. I think we have wheat. So we'll just get a super easy, super uh, early game vanilla farm going. And eventually we'll decorate all this out and eventually we'll probably end up automating this. We can also plant some cotton, could be helpful, but no, I think I'll stick with just food for now um, because I am running oh so very low. And in the next episode, it'll be a focus. That and the smeltery, I believe, will be our focus for the next episode is, um, by that I mean getting food automated. I'll probably go... We do have potatoes, we do have carrots, and we do have wheat seeds, so that's perfect. Um, I also have melons. I'll plant some melons at some point. Yeah, so, so getting an early game, you know, food source sorted next episode would be very good. I think uh, we'll probably go with an egg salad farm. I'm just going to place these worms down. These worms in a 3x3 three three area increase crop growth. If you didn't know. Okay, so. Another little interesting Minecraft mechanic that some of you may be unfamiliar with. If you plant your crops in rows so that they don't overlap, 
Like, uh, by that I mean if you have wheat in this row, potatoes in this row, wheat in this row, potatoes in this row, rather than wheat right next to each other, the crops actually grow something like 35% faster. It's, it's quite a dramatic increase in growth, actually. Um, which, you know, it's surprising that that's a thing, but okay. It, it, kind of a cool little detail. Do we have watering cans? We do. How do I make them? Stone and a bowl. Okay, it's the annoying new version, not the much superior old version of the watering can that we used to have in 1.7.10, but that's fine. We'll make it work. Just going to munch on some berries here. Okay, so I need stone of any type. How many? Four? Yeah. And then I need... Oh, I have the wood in my inventory to make a bowl. That doesn't make a bowl? With slabs, huh? Interesting. Okay. Cool. Bowl made. Watering can made. Perfect. Let's go speed up some crop growth and get ourselves some food here. And then I think what we'll end up doing is I see a pig. I see two pigs. I think we'll start a pig farm. It's time to eat some pork chops. Um, now, I'm not actually sure. Man, I always forget how annoying the new watering can is, but that's fine. I'm not actually sure, but there used to be kind of an interaction with the lily pad of fertility and the watering can if you sped up its tick rate then it would further like it would use its growth even more and uh it doesn't look like that works with the worm because when the worm does something it gives a little bone meal effect so are you fully grown no all right there's some potatoes It is getting dark. I'm going to want to go home, go inside, and sleep. Yeah, I'm going to go do that. Go inside and take a nap here. Make it day. And actually, I am looking at the time here. We are running very, very close. to about the length that I want these episodes to take. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep plugging away at this farm off camera between episodes. I'm also going to fix the roof between episodes because let's be real, it looks stupid. Um, get some animals gathered together for a little bit of an early game farm and then start working towards... The smeltery, most likely, would be our next step, I think. Or actually, you know what our real next step is? As I said, our focus next episode, smeltery and early game food. So, I'm going to make the egg salad farm that I made on the last server, because that thing was awesome, and it worked really, really well. So, what do we need for that? We need a crafter. Two recipes. I think we need the tier two crafter, but they're all pretty easy. Machine frames are just iron, a little bit of lapis. So we will need to go mining a little bit deeper to get some lapis, but that's okay. And then the rest of them are just crafting tables. Redstone, once again, need to go mining a little bit deeper to get that. Um, we're going to need a culinary generator to make that work which is just a furnace generator with some food. This is a furnace, iron, machine block. It's a chest, iron. Okay, that, that we can do. Um, not necessary, but some conduit would be good. I don't think we... Yeah, we don't, we don't have what we need to make that a thing yet. We can get some energy conduit, but... And then other than that, just... Uh, Hoppers. So we're going to need a ton of iron, a little bit of lapis, and a little bit of redstone. 
So, guys, if you've enjoyed this first episode of RFTB Beyond Let's Play, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. I appreciate your support, as always. Don't forget to check out the Patreon page if you're interested in that. I've also got the link to the Twitter and the Facebook down in the comment section below. Links to the Faithful 32 resource pack can also be found down there, as well as to the replay mod with which I made the time-lapse. Down below, you can also find our world seed if you'd like to come along on this journey with us. It's going to be a fun one. I'm really excited, and I hope I see you all next time. As always, this is Mizuna, signing off.